Hey guys, and here I decided to spend a little bit more time and like retest everything, like retune, uh, because like uh, when I was uh, tuning recording on this deck, I had to like uh, adjust back the ports for frequency response uh, because like it was recorded non-linear, non. -linear, non with non-linearity, okay? It was having a bump in the like three, five kilogears range. I forget about it. And like when I start to listen tapes again, I hear the like, deficit of the high frequencies. So I corrected frequency response with capacitors in a parallel to the playback head. Now it's perfect fine. But what I want to show you really, I'm currently measuring wow and flutter. That was request from the owner. And I'm well, well surprised. <coughs> I hope you can see well. 2998. And it's around 0 0.021. 22. Just wow and see. Like there almost no deviation. The needle is keeps almost still. Really. Our big surprise was this tape transport. You remember large capstans I told you about? So they does the job. All right, all right. So now I have to retest and retune recording on this deck to make sure that it will correspond to standard. Oh, way too much work with this deck, but I really love it. It sounds super detailed. Uh, I want to get them on my speakers now and listen how it will play my tapes. It should be doing it just fine. All right, see you. But all right, completed retuning. I got set bias on maximum uh, and adjusted pause and like that's the values. Like uh, to decay D, we had to go almost to the maximum to get a good recording. Uh, TDK SA exactly in the middle. Uh, Maxwell Excel for some reason like was not going straight. Like I'm not sure left right channel were not much. So I just like tune it on TDK SA and TDK MA. We just need to add a little bit. And like for different tape types, we need to adjust levels to match. So currently everything tuned for TDK MA. That's the calibration level. Let me set it back. I was recording music. So source. So source. Tape. All right, source. Tape. I can add left channel just a little bit right here. All right. And now bias. Source. Tape. Source. Tape. Perfect. And it's, it's records really, really well. Uh, almost I can't hear the difference on technical and every type type. The only thing that on type one uh, Dolby is highly recommended. So let me see. Let's type two to the KSA. Uh, switch in here. Recording. So levels. You see, we need to reduce levels. So source tape. Comparing to the previous tape, it does like that. All right, done, and bias. Source, tape, in place. Boom, I record. And like, distinguish source and tape, very hard on this deck. All right. And the last one. That's type one. Levels. We need to adjust record levels. Just a little bit. All right. Done and bias. It keeps pretty well. With a set level, so like if you're recording on the same tapes, you even don't need to open this cover unless you need to use Dolby. 
and because Dolby transform right here, I wish they put it somewhere outside of this cover. All right. Now I didn't get why this Maxell tape not goes really well through the heads. Let's try one more time. Maybe it was my error. But you see levels not there. So I'm not sure why. Oh, it's Ferrum Chrome, sorry. It's better. Levels almost there. Oh, maybe it was my error. Let me see. I can adjust. And bias. Reduce a little bit, but if I reduce more, we're starting to lose levels, so it's really required to do it again. Not sure why it's not that stable, but sonically it records pretty well. All right, so tape levels the same, everything's the same. Probably we need to get a different song. I'm not sure. There's more highs. Yeah, record's fine. All right. Um, unfortunately, I cannot play lots of music. YouTube panel like this, low sounds, it's increased. It is our, there was music, so we don't allow your video. All right, that would be it. Finally, finally, finally. Now I'm completely happy. Uh, it's It took a little bit time for me like to get back to it because I remembered later than like I didn't check up, play back again after I, uh, I adjusted records response. Oh, after I adjust records and to make it flat, I adjust the playback response. So I forget. Now I, I put it back. Everything is, is fine. Playback. And so I do more testing. And I will test on my tapes, which I recorded on Sony and Kamichi and Pioneer. And that should be fine. All right. That would be it. Thanks for tonight. Bye-bye.